Hello there beautiful souls and welcome to today's reading and meditation. Today is July 14th, 2016 and 14 in Tarot is the Temperance. It's the card for healing. And that uh, all the things that you were waiting for that gave you stress and anxiety perhaps in the past few days are now solving themselves and every seeming problem comes to an end. Because God has got the best solution for you, your family, your health, your friends, your co-workers, for everyone that's in your life. And all negativities are about to end. And all the positive is coming to you. That's just judging from which day it is today. It's the temperance. And a card has jumped out against my will. That was the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, it's about your needs being fulfilled and uh, in magical ways and expected ways. And also somewhat about, together with the Nine of Cups, somewhat about Nines are often positive about completion except the Nine of Swords. And uh, because the Nine of Cups, it's your dreams coming true. And the nine of uh, wands, it's, you know, be determined to move forward, but, you know, it's an encouragement. Steady progress has been made. And then nine of, uh, nine of coins is literally like resolving your issues. So your needs being met once again, especially your material needs and especially those needs to... As for today, that you were waiting, you were waiting these matters to be solved and for the past few days already, perhaps a couple of days, perhaps a week. And magically today, as it is the custom of the Creator, magically he solves everything and everything comes back to normal. That was just an introduction that the angel sent me and this car jumped out. The actual card of the reading is, though, the Empress. The Empress card is very feminine and very powerful. The Empress is the woman who takes charge and control in a soft and subtle, although uh, incisive, um, way. So, uh, in a way that leaves a sign of her presence, in a way that is um, extremely powerful. The Empress is about power and about uh, the ability again to make your dreams coming true and same patterns as yesterday the ability to do what you want is not the Emperor that's more stable the Emperor is associated to Archangel Michael while the Empress is not as occult as the High Priestess that tends to be more secretive and use strategy the Empress is about power um, in some sort of way, you could say power shown or power manifest, like in the case of the Emperor. But unlike the Emperor, it's almost the same card, 3 and 4, Emperor and Empress. But unlike the Emperor, the Empress is a bit more soft in her ways. So more, uh, of course, feminine with all that comes with it. So more soft, more um, not aggressive, not authoritative more like um, you know you need to get the cup that's on the table and the Emperor asks the maid to get the cup and receives the cup the Empress looks at the cup and the maid gets it for her it's two different ways to get the same thing one is more solar more like the Sun one one is more lunar more like the moon one is reflection of power the Empress, the other one is power itself, the Emperor, both of them are indeed strong and both of them are actually power, it's just uh, the symbology of the moon and the symbology of the sun. So the Empress card today means that you go back to your power seat and uh, you, um, you make your life go where it needs to go. And you do this, and you have this power, and it's not so much occult power, it's more power that comes with your from your mind and your self. It's not so much controlling through magic like the High Priestess, that's more 
again esoteric but this is more like being you know the difference between politics and magic it's two it's two different things so the empress is more about you know being uh exactly that an empress so it's more royal but at the same time uh, the high priestess could be more humble but at the same time and although the empress could be less knowledgeable of occult mysteries but she's nevertheless Again, less mysterious, less secretive, less um, charismatic, perhaps, figure, but not even that much. It's just a very positive card for you today, for you, for both guys and, I mean, male and females, that um, you, whether you're a, you know, a woman or a man, it doesn't matter, it's the energy that's coming up from you today, that if you're a guy, it tends to be more accepting, and if you're a woman, it tends to be more centered. So you accept things from life more, so you receive more, and then you are more centered in who you are, so you feel more like yourself if you're a woman. That's it. So we're calling upon the fairies today, and in particular, um, we're calling uh, upon the friends of the fairies too, that are the elves. We're asking the fairies and the elves of the forests to help us be centered and be true to who we are without hurting another and to receive what we really want without the need to make in a mess about it or without the need to be too explicit but that we may we exert power may we exert power dear God dear fairies and elves and all the spirits of nature may we exert, exert power just like you do by making things grow like nature taking care of things but without being seen so may we move the things of the of our world the same way that you do oh mysterious spirits so we're asking this and we're asking God to make this possible and we're feeling better already because because we know that God is with us and God is real love and God won't ever let us down, He won't ever abandon us and so the people in our life will never leave us and will never let us go. Today is when we realize that we have power and this power may not be understood by everyone but that's what makes it even stronger. So I want to leave you with that positive note and until tomorrow Angel blessings and uh, ciao.